thanks for joining me for another devlog. This week's devlog is going to be slightly different from what I usually post. As you guys know, I've been working on my first indie game for like the past five months, but alongside of working on that indie game, I'm also working on developing a business to distribute this first game as well as all the games and apps that I want to work on in the future. I've gotten to the point in developing my business where I need a website. Specifically, I need a website for creating an Apple developer account as a business. So that's what we're going to be focusing on this week. Now, I don't know entirely what I'm doing, but I do kind of have a plan. I have a modest amount of web development experience, and I'm also pretty cheap, so I'm going to be coding this thing up myself rather than using a tool like Squarespace to do the legwork for me. That said, Squarespace, I think you'd make a great sponsor for this channel. Based on my previous experience and some advice from a close friend who is way more plugged into the web development space than I am, I'll be using React as my JavaScript library and Gatsby as a supporting framework. Now, I don't know much about Gatsby other than the fact that it uses GraphQL and excels at producing performance static sites, which is what I'm in the market for. I'm starting this devlog a day late on Tuesday, but I did actually make some progress yesterday. I sat down with my iPad Pro and an app called GoodNotes and sketched out a very rough design for the site. My minimum viable product for the week is going to include a home and about page as well as pages for my games and apps. I'll also need a detail page for Blink, which is the game I'm close to releasing right now. So that's kind of where things stand right now. My goal is to have this website completed this week, which means obviously the coding is complete and the website is hopefully hosted by the end of the day on Saturday and I can post this video on Sunday. Now what that means for right now is that I really just need to dive into Gatsby and start learning about it and start coding. So hopefully I'll have an update sometime soon with some kind of meaningful progress. All right, so we got an initial progress check in here. I actually built this PC not too long ago, so I had to install a bunch of stuff that I had just kind of forgotten that I had to reinstall to get started with web development, because this is my first web development project on this Windows PC. So I had to install Node and of course NPM, which comes with it, the Gatsby CLI and Git, which I thought I already had working because source trees is it all the time, but whatever, I installed Git and uh, yeah, after all that, I was able to kind of pull down Gatsby's default starter template for creating a site, and that's where we are right now. Well, I know I didn't technically do a whole lot of work, but I do think that getting the development environment working and set up and ready for coding is a pretty big milestone. So it's like 6.40 right now. I think I'm going to go eat some dinner, and uh, I had a long day at work. Hopefully after dinner, I'll have some more stamina to get to work on this website, but if not, we'll be back tomorrow morning, and we'll kick things off. So I'll see you soon. Welcome back to Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. Last night after dinner, I did find some more time to go through some Gatsby tutorials and mess around with the boilerplate code that Gatsby generated for me. I'm feeling a little bit better about things this morning, so I think I might jump into designing the navigation bar and header and just see how that turns out because I pretty much know how I want all of that to look. Let's jump into it. What's up guys, it's about 7.45 now, almost time to get ready for work and I've been working for about two hours on this. Progress is slow, but there is progress, so I'll go ahead and show you what I did this morning. As you can see on the home page here, I've got three kind of nasty, unstyled looking links for the games, apps, and about pages. If we click on those, it will actually navigate to these pages, and each of these pages has a shared layout that includes the header. So this is kind of the foundation for how each of these pages are going to be built out and how you'll be able to navigate to them within the website. I've also started to kind of create some CSS variables that represent the color palette that I want the site to have. And right now that's this Indesga 64 palette, which I've just been using to create all the artwork for Blink. So there's a lot of colors here. I think I'll have a lot to choose from. I do need to be a little bit careful about accessibility, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Things are slow going, but I'm really happy with the progress this morning. It's honestly so exciting to just hop between the iOS development that I do at work, the game development that I do here at home, and now web development. It's just all so different, and I love it all. It's so much fun. Anyway, time to get ready for work now. I'll catch up with you guys next time I sit down to crank out some more progress.
So the good news is that I have finished my first planted tank. It took quite a while and it looks really cool. I just couldn't be happier with the way this turned out. And I'm really curious to see how all these things grow over the coming weeks. The bad news is that that took literally all of Wednesday night. It took me like three to three and a half hours to get that thing all set up. So I didn't have any time to do web development last night. It is now Thursday after work at like 5.30 and I think I better get to work. All right, so in our last session, we wrapped up Dev with completing this uh, kind of half-baked header as well as some navigation between pages. Tonight, I want to move this navigation into its own navigation bar that always shows below the header on each page. And in laying that bar out, I want to explore CSS Grid, which I hope to use to lay out all the other components in the site later on. Let's jump into it. All right, so as you guys can see here, I've got something that resembles my vision for the nav bar. Uh, this will show up on every screen right below the header image. And of course, it's just got links to the various areas of the website. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I'm just gonna leave it there for now because I don't wanna spend too much time on any particular component right now. What I'm gonna move on to is filling out the content of the homepage and then move kind of page to page to see how much content I can get done. All right guys, it's 7.45. I've been working on this for over two hours since I got home. Uh, I think it's time for a break and a progress update. First of all, I made some changes to my navigation, specifically my layout object that has all the navigation within it. I've added some properties for the title that shows on each page, as well as the background image that'll show here for each page. So when I click between these various uh, pages, you can see the title change. I don't have all the background images in there yet, but that'll be supported soon. Next up, you'll see I didn't make any progress on the content for the home screen, but I did make a little bit of progress on the game screen. What I'm working on here is a game card component. This will be a single component that takes in a list of properties about the game that I want to display, and it creates this card and shows it on the screen. Now, it's definitely not going to look like this when it's finished, but this is giving me some practice into creating these components that I can reuse on the screen. Uh, right now, in the JavaScript here, we're on my games page, and you can see where I'm actually using this game card and passing in the title. If I make a new one of those, paste that in, and change that to something completely different and just save, you'll see I've got another one of those. So this is a reusable component that I'll be able to use to show all the different games that I end up creating here on this page. If I'm honest, I kind of feel like I had made a little bit more progress tonight. Just looking at the site in its current state, it feels like I have a really long way to go, and my goal is to have this thing finished up by this weekend. But I have a full-time job, I have other hobbies, I have other responsibilities, so I'm doing the best I can. I'm not going to the gym tomorrow morning, so that means I'll be able to wake up early and make some more progress, so I'll catch up with you guys then. All right, guys, it's Friday morning, just after 6 o'clock. I've got to be productive this morning and make a lot of progress, so we're just going to jump straight into it. So after about 30 minutes worth of work, I think I've got the content of the homepage to a place where I actually really like it. I've got a little intro blurb here about myself and what I want to achieve with my business and my YouTube content and my games. And then down here, I've embedded my day in the life video, which I think gives people a pretty good idea of the type of content that I create. So I'm happy with that for now. I'm going to move on to creating content for the games page. All right, guys, it is 7.45. I've been working for about two hours at this point, and just looking at the site now, it finally looks like it's coming together. Before I get ready for work, I do want to run you through the progress that I've made this morning. Of course, you've already seen the homepage. Um, I think this just looks really nice, especially with the thumbnail that has a bunch of colors in it. I've added links to the games and apps page and my YouTube channel um, right there in the description, so it'll be easy to get to those two things right from the homepage here. All right, next up is the games and apps screen. And this is gonna be the portal where you click in to find details about each of the games and apps that I'm working on or have already released. Of course, we've got a page for Blink here, and there's a lot of work to be done here in terms of adding content. Of course, I'll be adding images of gameplay for Blink, maybe even like a GIF or an embedded video. And then of course, links to my devlog series for Blink so you can follow along with development if you want. I've also got a page for Save Sense. Now, I haven't told any of you guys about this, but I actually do have an app out on the App Store right now, and it's been out there for about a year. 
just an app uh, for iOS only that kind of helps you make better decisions about spending money. I'll probably make a whole video about that at some point, uh, but of course you guys can go check that out if you're interested and it'll have its own detail page here on the site. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, of course, I still need to make a bunch of updates here, but I've got the framework laid out to have a bunch of tiles here to show the different projects I'm working on. And the last two navigation items are YouTube and my about page. My about page I've still not started on and my YouTube link here is just a link that opens up my YouTube channel in a new tab. Because the YouTube channel is such an important part of my business and the, uh, the following that I'm trying to gather, I think it deserves its own place here on the nav bar on the site. So decided to do that. I'm super stoked with how this project is coming along. Up until this morning, I wasn't really sure that I'd be able to have the website finished by Saturday, but now it's looking like it might be a possibility. Anyway, time to go get ready for work and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Welcome back everyone. It is Saturday morning at 6.45 a.m. and today is the last day I've given myself to finish up this website. I have already made a little bit of progress this morning. You can see that if I click between my different pages now, oops, maybe not that one, each one has a different background image for the header. Now this is just hand selected for the different pages here. It used to just always be this one with the mountains. Now how I implemented that was just making a change to my static query here for my header component. Rather than just grabbing one single image in this query, I grab all the images and then down here I filter on them and use a property that I pass in called header image to filter on the one that I want to use for that specific page. So by doing that, I'm able to have a different header image for all my different pages. All right guys, so it's seven o'clock now. I need to go heads down and see how much content I can crank out for the rest of the site. So I'll just catch up with you guys once I have an update. It is now 8.45. I'm about to step out and go run some errands, so I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my progress that I've made quite a bit. If we step over to the Games and Apps page, we see that I now have icons for both Blink and Save Sense. These are both subject to change, especially Blink, since I still need an app icon. But anyway, it looks a little bit nicer for right now. If we go ahead and click on that, it takes us to the detail page. I've got a link to my YouTube channel, specifically the playlist for Blink Devlogs, where we walk through all the development of the project. And I've got a couple of nice screenshots here. I think I'm happy with this for now. Similarly for SaveSense, um, just got a little blurb and then a link to the App Store where you can download SaveSense. I'm gonna add some images to this page later. And finally, the About page, still blank. I'm gonna be working on that once I get back from running here. It is Saturday at around 3.15 p.m. and we have officially completed our goal of creating a brand new website from scratch for my indie development business in less than seven days. I developed this website absolutely from scratch in just six days in my free time before and after work and I want to walk you through everything that I was able to achieve. First off on the home screen here, this is pretty basic. We've got a header with a dynamic background and title and then some social links for Twitter and YouTube. Pretty basic. Content on this page is also pretty basic, just some text, some links, and an embedded YouTube video. On my games and apps screen, you can see we've got a different header image as I mentioned before, and we've got two detail pages, one for Blink and one for SaveSense. If we click into Blink, again, just text and links, and of course some images to show what Blink is all about. Again, this is very basic, but I think it'll serve the purpose for what I need this website to do right now. If we head back to SaveSense, you see a link to the App Store, a little blurb about SaveSense and some images, and a privacy policy, which is actually a page that's dynamically generated based on a markdown file that I can drop into the project. This is super cool, so anytime I have to do any more privacy policies, all I have to do is throw the markdown file into the hierarchy in the right place, and this page is generated for me. Super cool, and all thanks to Gatsby, which has been awesome to work on. Finally, the About page, again, pretty simple, just text links and a picture of me, and of course the YouTube link goes to my YouTube channel. This doesn't seem like a whole lot, and it's not, but there are a couple great things that Gatsby also provided for me as I designed this website. 
This is the Lighthouse audit log for my website. As you can see, this site gets excellent scores. Three out of the four criteria are 100% and accessibility is 92%, probably just because I didn't pay much attention to the colors I was selecting and I'm sure the contrast ratios are not ideal. I wanna be clear that I didn't do anything at all to try to increase these scores. This is a lot of stuff that Gatsby does under the hood to improve performance and search engine optimization and it's just awesome. I was totally focused on the UI and how it looks and all this stuff was done for me and I'm so happy that this website performs as well as it does. To officially complete this week-long challenge, I'm happy to announce that the website is live at www.devduckgames.com. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I know this devlog was a little bit different. Of course, next week we'll be going back to working on Blink and we're totally unblocked now that we have the website. I hope this video and this challenge serves to inspire some of you guys who might also have that looming task over your heads to just concentrate and focus and set yourself a goal to knock it out. That's exactly what I did this week and it's a great feeling. Again, thanks for sticking with me for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next devlog.